About three years ago, I posted a video restoring and modifying an 18 foot chestnut cruiser. This is part two of that project. And these still photos is where I, from the old video, I um, ended up getting it back together and putting new ash in whales in. And then I let it sit and I hadn't worked on it for uh, quite a while. Then I decided to get back to it. Here I am putting, dropping the canoe into the uh, new canvas that I have stretched on my old canoe. And I'm stapling the uh, canvas to the Canoe at each uh, rib, tip. And then staple it, I'm removing the canoe from the stretching unit, and bringing it out to uh, horses and finishing up the stems. I always get a little nervous at this point. It's a little tricky for me. I don't do that many canoes. So. I'm stapling the canvas to the stem. Taking the wrinkles out. You know, pull out the st staples and then pull the canvas tight, staple it again. Got it done and I mixed mixed up my own filler and applied it to the uh, new canvas. This uh, makes the canoe waterproof. The filler takes about 30 days to dry. I let it dry for two and a half, three years. <laughs> Yep. Then we moved to Maine. Yeah. Here's my new shop. But now I'm putting the first coat of paint on the canoe. I forget what they call it, but it's uh this time to save some weight, get a little weak in my old age. So. See how that works. They're okay. They're not as tough as ash, but they're lighter, so, so I like them. time I ever did that on guns. I like it. It's okay. It's good. And here's the finished canoe, my finished shop. Here's a canoe up in northern Maine. Here it is with my um, wall tent and Mwanigan and all my gear in there. It, it, it carries it really well. Paddle, the canoe paddles like a dream. It just glides right along. It's really nice. I really like it. It's a chestnut cruiser and it's about 16 feet now. I guess it's called Kruger. Thank you.